Hey, what's going on guys? Knoxville 363 yesterday I put out a video on how to add Jelly Bean 4.1.2 FK23 to your Samsung Galaxy S2 from Boost Mobile. I figured I'd put out this video for those who are interested in the upgrade that want to know what the key differences are. So the first thing is lock screen. Now you have the ability to put the owner's name. I put my YouTube channel name in there, Knoxville 363. And uh, you also can have access to your phone, email, Google Voice, or your camera directly from your lock screen. Now if we open it up you'll notice right away that now there are not two separate widgets for time and weather. Now it's all incorporated in one with a fresh new look as opposed to the ice cream sandwich where there are two widgets laying on top of one another. You will also have the ability stock that I have already removed it be your internet. I use Dolphin Browser as opposed to the stock internet but now you can have five applications on your bottom dock as opposed to the stock four that comes on Ice Cream Sandwich. Now your notification bar will look semi similar to Ice Cream Sandwich with a couple differences. Well, first one being is now your time and your date are on the top which I really like. Now you can also change the brightness directly from your notification bar. Your notifications I don't have any right now but you can simply swipe left or right to get rid of them. Also text messages and pictures you can expand directly from your notification bar without actually having to open it up. The app window now you'll have the option for your apps, widgets, and your downloads. The pictures for your contacts has been fixed. So now if I go ahead and you'll see right now I have a picture of my son for my wife. Let me go ahead and cover her phone numbers off so you guys will see what I'm talking about. And now you'll see as opposed to it being one stretched out picture, now it'll be normal size. Now if I go ahead and open up text messaging, it will look the same, but now the cool thing is, is if you have motion enabled, let's see who's, what conversation can I open up here? Let me open up this one, one second. Okay, the part that I had to edit out was the motions. And the motions is the new update that came with Jelly Bean. And the two that I use are, if you press and hold an app, instead of having to drag it across the screen yourself, you could simply move the phone left or right and you can put it on any screen that you want. Now I'll put it back the way it was. Now the second one is you can make a direct phone call from a text message. Now I'm not going to open up a thread that's why I have to redo this whole video based on the fact that the phone number got exposed so thank you to whoever pointed that out to me and all you do is whatever thread you open up I'm not going to do it again all you do is once the thread is actually opened up to the point where you could text the person if you hold the phone up to your ear then it will automatically call them so if you're sick and tired of texting them you just want to call them just hold it up to your ear okay some of the last ones i'm going to cover is messaging when you open up your messaging it will look the same as ice cream sandwich but the difference now is now if we go into our settings go ahead and click bubble style now you can change whatever bubble you want you get a not too many choices but it's always nice to have a little bit of change and the best which I really like is the background you can use any image that you want for your background while you're texting so now this is what the text messaging will look like when I'm sending and receiving as opposed to just a boring background now you can make it whatever you want once you're finished go ahead and click save now the music player the music player Nothing too special, just a little update here on the bottom. Nothing mind blowing, but I guess uh, updates better than nothing, right? Last but not least is your gallery. And here's a picture of my friend wearing his girlfriend's robe. And these are what the albums look like. Now it gives you a little tiled look as opposed to the ice cream sandwich. Once again, something that's very subtle, but a little bit of change is better than nothing. So thank you guys for checking this out. If you did already update your device from my other video, feel free to leave a comment below. Let me know what you like and disliked about it. And if you don't like this update, you can always go back to stock FI 22, back down to ice cream sandwich if you wish and wait for the official update. So thank you guys for checking out this video. Feel free to subscribe, give it a like and share it with your friends. Thanks.